zero. I am back like a rerun. I have returned. Refund. I am the greatest ever. I will never fall. Shout Long Beach Griffey. I got I got to that for the beginning of every, every episode. So, guys, we are back. We are back. We are back. It's been a long three days without you. But here we are. Last time we did the worst build playthrough. This time we're going to do the best build. So here's the thing about the class I'm doing. By the way, spoiler alert. Best build is going to be Faith Dex. Alright? Faith Dexterity. And the reason is because you get all the options. All the damage options in the world. There's nothing that you are missing with a Faith Dex build as long as you can hit about 12 arc doing that. Um, so... Typically, you see all these different classes and what they have to offer, and with the Faith classes, Profit is often taken as the best possible class, either that or if you're going Faith and um, Pure Caster, you can either go Profit or Astrologer. Um, but in the case where you are going Faith Dexterity, or even Faith Strength, Confessor gets looked down upon because of how immalleable it is but the reason i like this class is because look at your starting equipment here 100 percent reduction shield for physical damage a nice sword so you can hit those annoying annoying things um what are they called earth tree avatars you don't get cash flame to start with but cash flame is not that hard to get to it only costs 600 uh rooms as soon as you can get to round table hold, which is not difficult at all Profit, on the other hand, now, this is drippy. Profit is really, really drippy. I wish. <laughs> I wish you could have that that drip. Hon honestly, Confessor's kind of drippy, too. It, but it, it takes me... It's giving me Dark Souls. I'm keeping real with you. It is giving me Dark Souls, guys. Whereas, this is something completely Elden Ring zone. Like, this is completely an Elden Ring look. Same thing with... Uh, same thing with uh, pr uh, Prisoner, honestly. Prisoner's kind of like a... A dex int type of build. Um, it's a it's a really nice uh, setup if you want to go dex int or melee in, in general. Um, samurai for your arcane, well not pure arcane but like your your quality arcane ish type of deals. Um, so my spiel is going to contain the idea that even though this is the best build, it doesn't have access to the best weapon. The best weapon for the new patch being rivers of blood however that new patch did happen a couple of days ago so now I'm, now I no longer have to get that spiel this is just straight up the best build period dot it doesn't matter that you can't get rivers of blood anymore because rivers of blood is no longer the broken piece of crap that it used to be uh so let's talk about the classes real quick vagabond vagabond if i remember that's your uh quality class so if you really want to have a hard time in life go vagabond because quality builds are really really difficult to play warrior is your dexterity class hero is obviously your strength class bandit is your pure arcane class you can mix it with dexterity if you want to astrologer is your pure int class or just in general if you want to do it that way prophet's your pure faith class and it really is pure faith because you have better options if you want to go mixed samurai is your kind of mixy like it's kind of your min maxi back when rivers of blood was really good or if you just want to keep really nice with the katanas and the bleed effects it doesn't do anything super duper well like you can go poison bleed like it's got all kinds of nifty effects with it to describe what Samurai really does well is really hard to do, but it is a class. It it has a lot of good things going for it. It's just that it doesn't like min-max specifically to one stat. It has a lot of stuff going for it. Like, if you're going this way, you're pretty much going bleed or rot or something. Well, rot doesn't matter. You're pretty much going bleed or poison. Like, poison early game, bleed later game. Um... Prisoner, we already talked about that. That's Dex Int. Wretch, Wretch can be anything you need it to be. For our last playthrough, it was Arcane Int. Normally, it fills into one real, really huge missing space in this in this lineup, which is Strength Int. 
Um, there is no Strength Inc. class that's really good at it. Every other class does waste a lot of points when it comes to, to the possibility of going Strength Inc. So you do end up wanting to go Wretch for that, like specifically. However, today we're going to start with Confessor. I already have a pre-made, uh, I am going to go male this time because I'm not planning on using the uh, Selen's Mask. And look at our stats. So, starting out with 10 Vigor, that's great. So your level's really high starting out. So you've already, in a way, wasted 10 of your points, right? But Faith at 14, I'll need two more to uh, unlock, um, I forgot what it was you unlock at 14. Oh, Flame Frame, flame Frenzy. Flame Frenzy is a really, really powerful spell. You want that. Um, I need two Faith to get to it. I only need 10 Vigor to hit that 20 Vigor first you know, it's not a cap, but it's a, um, if you want to call it a first benchmark, a first, first watermark, that's the one you want to get to, to really start playing through the, up until about the mid portion of the game, you start falling off, start falling behind that 20 Vigor. I would say where 20 Vigor starts failing you is when you get to, um, stuff like the full grown Falling Star Beast or, um, Morgot. that's when you really want more than 20 Vigor. Um, but up until those points, you can you can make do with 20 Vigor. Um, mind, we're going to go up to 23 again because we're going to use Tish. So anytime we're going to use a casting build at all, we're going up to 23 Mind. Um, you can go up to 38 to really maximize your blue flask usage. But this, this build already eats points like crazy. I don't have another 15 to go up to 38. Endurance, we're going to end up at 25 in order to fit all the stuff we want to wear. So I ended up going to 25 because um, at 25 with the uh, Great Jars Arsenal, Urtree's Flavor Plus 2, we can dual wield both um, Vike's War Spear, which is going to be our main weapon, and uh, the Tree Spear alongside uh, all the seals that we're going to end up using. I don't intend to use a shield after I get far enough into the game where I can start um, power stancing these uh, these spears. So probably around Lyurnia we'll have our final weapons. Just like last time we ended up with our final weapons in Lyurnia. Um, same deal this time. Um, endurance, we already talked about it. Strength. Strength is going to stick at 16. That's just because that's how much you need in order to wield. Um, not only Vice War Spear, because that is the main weapon on this run, but you also need 16 strength in order to wield the, uh, the ha not Halo, the Winged Scythe. And the Winged Scythe is going to be our first, like, really good weapon. So, before that, we're going to end up getting the Flail. And that's going to hold us down for a little while. Um, the Flail is actually going to be our main weapon up until we can, uh, get two plus four somber weapons. So... It's going to take a while to get that far. Um, excuse me, guys. But, yeah, 16 strength is basically in order to wield certain weapons. Dexterity is going to the moon. Um, I think I end up with, with 48 dex at, on this build. Yeah, 48 dex for Hannah Melania. I think that's why I have 48 dex on there. I might be wrong. It might be for Boda Grand Sacks or something. But either way, we're going to 48 decks. Intelligence. I'm not going to... Oh, wait. I am going to put one point into Intelligence. And that's purely so that when you put three more points into Intelligence by using the uh, uh, Queen's Crescent Crown or something of that nature, you do that and then you're able to um, cast Order's Blade. And what Order's Blade does is that it enchants your weapon with uh, Holy Damage. Or if you want to, you can also cast, um, what's the other spell that you can cast? Um, I'm drawing a blank here. Oh, um, the Ring of Light, you know, the one that you toss out, that one too. So if you want some range damage, you can do that as well. Um, so I will have that. Uh, Faith is going to go up to 50. 50. It's just 50. And uh, it's going up to 50 in order to use, I think it, I forgot what the requirement 
or 50 was. It might have just been Scarlet Aonia that requires 50 faith. But yeah, we're going up to whatever the the highest level spell is, and I think that is Scarlet Aonia. If not Grail's War, Roar or something, I, but I think it's Scarlet Aonia. And Arcane is going to stay where it is. Um, it's the only stat we are not going to touch at all. Because all we have to do in order to make to get to 9 or get to 12 is equip America Sword Seal or America Scar Seal. Or later on we can get the Arbonoric Mask or later on we can get the uh, Queen's Mask. Well, we're not going that way. We're not going to do Sounds Quest this time. So, yeah. Arbonoric Mask or um, America Scar Seal. Either way works. And by equipping those things we are able to get to 12 Arcane. And that 12 Arcane we're able to um, use all of the basic Dragon Breaths. And that's really all we need, because all we need are uh, Rotten Breath and Dragon Ice, the two ones that represent things that Faith doesn't, well, Faith kind of does get access to Rot, I shouldn't say that. But Faith doesn't get quick access to Rot, you have to wait until you've beaten the entire freaking game to do it. Whereas if you have Dragon or Rotten Breath, you can just go straight for it. And then the same thing with Dragon Ice. As soon as you can get to the Cathedral of Dragon Communion, you have Dragon Ice. Now you have something to use against Electo. I will not go through 40 minutes of fighting Electo again. Or was it like 70 minutes? I forgot how long I fought Electo for, but it was for way too long. No. Now that I know her weakness and her resistance, I'm not fighting her with a pierce weapon. So even though I'm using spears this time, I'm going to be smart. I'm going to find me a, a slashing weapon or something. Something that she's weak to. I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to get a... Uh, some ice breath because she is very weak to uh it's the only thing it's the only uh debuff she's weak to is uh, frostbite we're gonna put her in a we're gonna put her in a coffin all right so picking a name for this character <sighs> so this guy is going to be quite a heretic on one hand i'm going to have the flames of frenzy and i am going for the flames of frenzy ending guys spoiler alert so yeah so, you know, we are going for Flame of Frenzy. I'm going for the Flame of Frenzy ending. Mm. This guy is probably the most evil character I've played, I've played thus far. Should I just call him like something like Killmonger? Like, I'm just the evil priest that eventually goes more and more evil. <sighs> Kotamine Kire. Mmm. That, ooh, and he kind of looks like a church executor from Fate Stay Night, too. Mmm, Kotamine Kire is kind of sticking for me. I might have to go for that. Do we have space for Kotamine Kire? Because I know I didn't have space for Inietta the Blood Edge. I'd just name Inietta. We do have space for Kotamine Kire. And yes, Kotamine Kire would be a Faith Dex build. I like it all. I love this. Let's freaking go, guys. Kotamine Kire. Now, here's the thing. I have this character. Honestly, this guy kind of looks like a Cold Mini Kira. I might just leave him as is. Alright, so what do I want? Fanged and Bashes would save me a tiny amount of time. Five bold prawns? No, no. Bewitchin Ranch? Maybe. Stone Sword Key? No. Crackpot? Maybe. Golden Seed? Eh. I'll take lands between rune just because I want to start off immediately with a lot of souls um, and also I probably want to use these souls if I'm not mistaken how many is lands between rune maybe it'll tell me on the screen yeah let's go with it here we are starting off with Kota Minikire So excited to get back into this game, guys. This is the last playthrough I have to do before we have a. Uh... 
platinum. Wait. Yeah. It's the last one I have for platinum. So, a goal I have for myself, since this is a... I'm going to collect a lot more stuff than I did last time, just because this build has a lot more viable things attached to it than Int Arc did. However, I do still want to beat my 26 episode mark from last time, or 59 hours, which is what I completed the game in. I want to try to get it at least down to 55 hours. Which I did play extremely well, and I beat a lot of bosses on the first try for it being a uh, the worst build. And if I keep this to level 138 like the other ones, my vigor is only going to be at 36. So, yeah, <laughs> it's going to be rough. I might be doing a lot of grinding. I know for a fact I'm going to do a lot of grinding until I get Vigor up to 36. Best girl. You can't be looking like that and talking about you never knowing the feet. Does it? Mm -hmm. Why does this dude look dead? Oh, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Never mind, I'm stupid. <laughs> He didn't know I was going to blow his cheeks out if he tried to step to me. That's what he didn't know. better know my name by now. It's called Tamine. If you don't know, now you know. Before you catch a black key to the face. To stand before the Elden Ring. And become the Elden Lord. He rate becoming Elden Lord does not sound like a good thing. Well, he's going to be a Lord of Frenzy here, so. It's, you know what? That is exactly like the Avenger plot. All right, let's go. We got we to gotta race our own time. The best build can't fall behind the worst build now. Uh, okay. Actually, here's a good time to check out the lands between. 3,000? Okay, so if I have 2,000, I can go straight to having, um, what you call it? Oh, okay. Hmm. Is this a broadsword? Yeah. Broadsword is actually the best sword you can have for a strength build, as far as the straight swords go. However, I don't use. I would need a uh, noble slender sword for this dex build. So you can already see how this is kind of meant to be a paladin s build. Why does 
fine. What kind of show is this? I want to read its lore. I want to read its lore. Um, a force in a river. Okay. I don't, yeah, I'm not going to beat this guy, but let's go for it. Get that ass here, boy. Did I actually get killed? Oh, I think it might actually kill me. That, uh, screaming damage. But I got my licks in. Try not to skip cutscenes. <laughs> Unless I've already seen them. And by already seen them, I mean in this playthrough. So if you've never. Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on his side. We found him here, after all. So is that ring Torrent's ring? The one that she's wearing? I gotta look at uh, what you call his hand later, Ronnie's hand one later, because people were talking about... Sure to seek the Elden ring. People were talking about that uh, Ronnie's ring is similar to Melina's ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. <laughs> Lisa's not going to like me at all, but. You get to see that special ending as well, because I'm not going to let her die. Um, this is like the one golden tree in a game that doesn't have a, a golden seed next to it. I, we'll start by giving ourselves a little bit of a leg up. We'll go down here and kill everything. Fight the gods of soldier, the god of soldiers, Rick, or Rick, the god of soldier. Straight swords are just so good. This is why I started with Confessor, because I feel like, because it starts with a really good weapon, a really solid, stable weapon, dang it, I didn't want to take damage there, just trying to do a no-hit run through this cave, I wish it would stop doing that the second I'm about to jump. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody sneaking. We in a rush. We 
He's suffocating enemies over here. One criticals we're getting are right pass. Yep, stick America. Got it. Alright, soldier Goderick. Time for you to learn. Look at look at you. You gotta run into your own. <laughs> I think he just barely survives that. No he didn't. <laughs> I saw a sliver of red still left there. Thought he survived it. Useless. Useless tree. With no golden seed on it. Alright. We'll need to come back here later. I got the blood detail on you. So I just committed mass murder. Alright, so for everybody who is your first time seeing this game, we will walk out slowly. We will. Anything else in here? No. Alright, so. Everything that you can see, you can get to. Every single thing that you can see, you can get to. Oh wow, you really can see the freaking uh, the Forge of the Giants from here. That's crazy. So, in order to point at things, I'm going to put them directly above my head. That looks like... Is that Carrier Manor? I think that's cute. It's either Carrier Manor or it's a. No, that's the Rise and um, not Three Sisters. What's the other place? Moonlight Altar. That's the Rise and Moonlight Altar. So you can see Moonlight Altar from here. Over there is where we just were when we got killed by the uh, multi arm thing, the Grafted Scion. So that's the Chapel of Anticipation. Up there is our first major dungeon, the. Um, what's it called? Stormvale Castle. Divine Tower of uh, Stormvale is right there. We're going to be at that church right here very soon. That's the Earth Tree itself. You can't get to the top of it, but you can't get to the top, to the top of any trees, let's still call that, except for the Halic Tree. But you can get to the tree and inside of it. Um, that's a. No. Yeah, that's the Divine Tower itself. There's another Divine Tower over there. I just don't know which one that is. That's probably Liarnia. So that's where... Actually, when I was talking about looking at Ronnie's body, to look at her right ring finger, that's what I was talking about. The Divine Tower of Liarnia right there. That is the Forge of the Giants where we will burn the area tree. Spoiler alert, sorry. And a couple more divine towers you can see in the background here. Can you see? That may or may not be where. That may or may not be the general direction where. What you call it is. That might be the bestial sanctum. But I'm looking up there and I'm saying that may or may not be. Um, Fair Missoula. It's a little too darn script. It might just be clouds. That's yeah, probably just clouds. But that's the divine tower of Kalid. That's the uh, missing divine tower to whatever the hidden divine tower. What is this over here? Um, I don't know. 
that is. I think that's the fort. Her tree. That's probably Fort Faroth. That's probably Fort Faroth up there. So yeah, you can see a lot from the very first step in from the very first second you step into this world, you can see you can see a lot of like your end game points. It's just hours and hours before you actually get to any of them. Because you're about to get murdered by a whole bunch of random people. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without this called me meaningless. And for that, he must die. But in like T minus forty five hours. To die in obscurity. Luckily for you, honey, are you familiar with grace? You may also behold that hmm, it will lead you even if it Grace's guide to castles, the home of the. It's time to castles if you. S okay. So, the thing about this game is that there's effectively nothing of value you can do in the beginning. Um. Until. You reach Melina. Everything else is just practice. So your very first goal in this game is reaching Melina. Everything else, you, there's nothing else of value you can do. Besides picking this up, do pick up this grace. Um. You may or may not want to actually rest at this grace. I'm going to skip it. And I'm going to fail a speedrun strat. That doesn't actually exist. I'm just going to use the Erd Tree as my frame of reference for right ahead. Sort of, kind of avoid enemies. Like I said, until we get to uh, until we get to Melina, there's no real reason to fight anybody. So here we go. Here's Melina, and we'll have another sit-down discussion. Here's the funny part. I saw somebody on Reddit say that they uh, they got to this grace, they activated, but they were afraid of respawning enemies, so they never sat at it. So they just quit the game because they didn't know that they were supposed to sit at graces in order to advance the story. And they couldn't level because they never sat at the grace and met Melina. This guy's a lazy tarnished. Because she doesn't even show up until nighttime. The first time you meet her. Like, the, sh the time automatically shifts to nighttime during the scene. I offer you an accord. For how much? Ones like what? Twenty six thousand? Do they still make accords? They serve the two fingers, offering guidance and aid to the tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. Why do people keep reminding me I have no hoes? I can play the role of maiden. Oh, you want to be my hoe? Oh, I'm I'm down. Let's go. Oh, you gonna make something strong? Oh, I don't like the way this sounds. This sounds difficult. So you got you a traveling hoe? I mean, I like to do it in nature too, girl. Let's do it. Summon me by grace. 
to turn runes so I can just summon you whenever I want to. That's a big old lie too, by the way. You can't just summon her whenever you want to. Another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. Wait, rings on the first date? I don't even know. Oh God, whatever. At least you're giving it to me. I used to get proposed to by girls on the first date. She's giving me a horse too. Is this some? I, am I married, guys? Is, has this happened? I, I, I'm just gonna tell you something. My name is Kozumina Kire, and I treat nobody with respect. This horse is gonna be d dead at the end of the playthrough. Sorry. I can't level up. Yeah, put, put, pull some shit on me, baby. That's right. Uh, can't level yet. Need 829. Alright, so, the first question is, what stat do we go for first? And it looks like we're going to have to pump six points into dex, which means we're going to stay right here after. We're going to stay right here for a while. Um, we are going to go... I know how all that works already. This way tarnished. May I have a it was, word? It was, it was, it's my lucky day. <laughs> They're falling out of the sky, guys. The pledge is all mine. I don't oh, word. About You're not just giving me a stripper name, eh? And upon looking hurt. into the matter, I ain't even rode this horse yet. I surmise. Is of thee. But you felt my aura, right? Of a power, no? Yo, I got all kinds of power, girl. <laughs> I'm a horse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As I <laughs> I was entrusted this for thee by Torrent's former master. Yeah. It is about calling forth spirits. Summon them with it. From ash and return to the earth tree. The spirits will obey thine command but briefly, as they recall battles past. Now it is thine to do with as thou wishest. Every time I call Ronnie useless, I keep forgetting that she gives you like the most powerful item in the freaking game. Bar none. And that item is the spirit calling bell. And you get it literally two seconds into the game. Tarnished. I doubt we shall again meet. But all the same, learn well the lands between. I know How these lands. The only thing I don't know is where to get certain smithing stones. Two fingers. Hmm. All right. So. That taken care of. We need to get six decks. Well, let's start by uh, sorting stuff out. So, we're never going to use this. So, switch. Up is going to be. Up is going to be something else. I'll just move it. Left is going to be crimson. Right is going to be cerulean. Down. Fascist is fine here. Um, there's nothing else I really need on my bar for right now. I'm sure I'll get the lantern and some other spirit ashes to put up there like last time. Alright. So as far as spells go, I have Urgent Hill, which is neat. Alright, so we can just go ahead and start, start it off. Give me that booty, boy. Nice. No. See him coming?
Pick up the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. Kill this doofus. Look at you. Dead. Stupid. Um. Do I have enough? Yes, I do. Am I my brother's keeper? Yes, I am. Homie, you know we're getting low. You see that gun in my hand? G unit. Don't go messing with my soldiers, boy. If you get laid out, I'm pretty sure this is the, this is the sword, right? I don't want the sword. Um, I'm gonna go get that uh that flail. Even though I can't use it yet. You roll with 20 homes. You roll with 20 guns. 16 houses loading every. I got a straight sword, boy. I'm fast. Yeah, this class is really good. This class is really, really good. Alright, so the flail we can't use yet. 18 decks. That's what we gotta fix first. The fact that we can't use the flail. So I could have actually killed a few things on the way here and let Lena put her hands on me a little bit longer. So starting with Dex, one up thirteen. I gotta keep up, bros. Yeah. Alright, our first encounter with the knight. That booty was free. I ain't got no boys. Ooh, he's making me look bad. Wait, I have square off as a ash of war and I'm not using it? Oh, you are dead, dead. Make a mistake, that's all I want. Never mind. No need. You're dead. <laughs> okay, this I have square off as ash as a starting ash of war. This is ridiculously powered. Alright. Every time I oh, got a helmet. Look 
at you. Did you not hear I had square off as the Ash of War and you're still trying to take me on? This is way easier to get to this run. And I've been kind of wasting time this this playthrough, honestly. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I don't need that. Half square off. The having broadsword is a really good way to start a run, honestly. It's a combination of things. It's a good weapon, decent armor. Like, there's a lot going for this for Confessor. Like, it is really easy mode. As far as the run goes. I think I'm out of heals, right? Yep. No more mistakes. Square off, boy. Imagine. Imagine not having square off on your weapon. On your starting weapon. What's interesting is that this is one of the few classes where two-handing from the very start of the game is just mwah. It's just mwah. It's just great. Next one's for 1038. Okay. Yeah, no. I like to be on time. Straight sword. That may be useful. I gotta check it. That brings him all the way out here. We can catch him slipping. Oh, I said we can catch him slipping. Now he can catch me slipping. All right, let's try square off heavy will get some. Ooh, that hurt. You don't like square off, do you, boy? Two of those took you down quick. Where did that other guy come from? Bit of a surprise. for that. Oh. 
And I can heal blue. I haven't even taken that away from yet. Imagine not having that on your build. Who would do that? Who would do that to themselves? They gotta be losers. Scrubs. Ow. Such a great ability. Yeah, so... Unfortunately, the first part of the game is the most monotonous, because there is going to be just a lot of grinding to meet basic needs. Like, I've got to do this three more times. Don't do that. Ooh, got night gauntlets. Who wants smoke with me? I'm effort homie lungs up. They be like, Nardo, put them damn guns up. Pretty good. Not gonna lie, still pretty decent there. Oh, more enemies. There's more ops out here. I bring the gang squad with me. Squad. Sneak up on him. It's because I know that's a easy kill. See if we go this way this time we can sneak up on somebody maybe. Alright, so there's a guy over here. Is there like any way to sneak up on these two? Oh. Oh not really. That worked.
Feels like time's off. Yeah, it feels like time's way off. That's not that bad, but it's annoying because that can cause issues. Especially if he blows his horn. time's way off. So moving day ahead doesn't reset their position at all. Or at least it doesn't move it back to the same as if you add a... Yikes, the combos. Listen, level with me, Wolf. I just need you to not do that. Yeah, more of that. That was good. Mm. Now the other guy who was out here is no longer out here. So I'm missing a little bit of XP. Oh yeah, because I never took out that last, last guy down there. So that's my first time doing that. I'm not sure if I have enough for a 1600. Oh, no I did. One more level. 1659. That's going to be difficult. I might front load it a little bit. Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and summon these guys immediately. Because my timing is already bad, so I might as well start out strong. Wow. Well, his poise was high, but he didn't really do that much damage.
Yeah, it was kind of crazy as soon as they as soon as they sound that you're pretty much dead. Like if you if you if you're not ready to really fight fight, you might as well just go. All right. That's a good reset. And I think that's going to be enough for a front load. Hopefully it is. Never tried it from a single before. Oh, that works. There we go. All that work just to end up dead. You gotta look up, uh, she'll be coming around. Look up what that means. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Look up, look up what that actually means. It's crazy. The kind of things they had us learning. They were actually really freaking morbid. Or I wouldn't say morbid. They were just like, because we weren't so sensitive back then, you could say certain things and it's just like a fact of life instead of something so... Like, oh my gosh, scary. Mm. So this is the opportunity where I could pop um, that rune to that rune one I just got, but instead I'll just go ahead and kill these guys. I think I have to do sixteen eighty. Alright, I have enough. So I have enough now, but I might as well go ahead and collect a few more because I need to buy a couple things. <laughs> Wait a miss. Stupid dog. That Curse the Cowardly Dog. Remember that show? Oh my gosh. Returning the slab. Return the slab. Yeah, stop that. No shield poking. Yeah. No shield poking. That's why we ganked you. Stop trying to shield poke. Oh, 
Oh, no, it works for him too. Heavy running attacks hurt. I was trying to change direction mid run, didn't work. At least I didn't whiff both the enemies there. That could have easily been the outcome. See a hero just die and the felly wanna be. Ah. We no longer need the broadsword. So even though it's a great weapon, friendship ended with broadsword. New best friend, flail. I do wonder, 115. That critical is so good though. So flail. Oh, this is a parry shield. Okay. Well, we're not going to do that. And this thing has a bleed on it, right? Yeah, it does. I'm pretty sure that increased... That's increased, right? Because if I go here, it shouldn't sap as much. Talk to Melina. See them, can't you? The rays of grace that guide you through your burden. Upon the cliff in Castle Stormvale is a shard bearer, a demigod, who inherited a fragment of the shattered Elden Ring. If the rays of grace signal the castle, then the Elden Ring beckons you. As an ally by pact, I pray that you are fit to face the challenge presented by the ring. Okay. Yeah, we'll be Duke up. In about like 30 levels. Mm, 20 levels, maybe. You're a time I can also let you not to up. Then why not? I am Carly. You know, you should buy us a crafting essential. The kit costs like the import. You know, you should buy a crafting kit. Okay, you only have to talk to him once for that. I am of a selling where the land has been tainted by madness since the shattering of the Elden Ring. It's only time yes. to yourself. Madness. <laughs> I can get a free free if you want by doing this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
So because I start with a full actual set, I don't need to um, bone arrow, glowstone, holy water pots. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Okay. Um, so, oh, that's why I didn't pick up. There was some kukri over there that I didn't pick up, but, um, crackpots aren't any use to, use to me. What's that crafting kit? Here it is. On, like, 15 of those. These are going to come in handy later. I'm glad you took my warning to heart. You've made an excellent choice. Um, yeah, these are going to come in handy later. Now, my next problem is, so what are my spells? Assassin's Approach, right? Assassin's Approach just makes you more quiet, right? Hmm. I don't know if that helps against what I'm about to fight. I guess I just get used to parrying until I get no skill. Because I'm about to go down into that, um... Or maybe I'm not. Maybe I don't go that way. Whetstone knife, got it. Crafting kit, got it. Spirit jellyfish ashes is the next thing I really want. So I don't have to go down to that first catacomb, really. Even though that's what I would normally do at this point in any other playthrough, I'm not going to go that way. Instead, we're going to go straight for the um, Spirit Jellyfish Ashes. Actually, let's work... Nah, you guys have seen this. I do want to practice with this weapon a little bit, but you guys have seen this enough. We'll practice with it in other places. Boom, boom. Alright, our first actual golden seed. Some storm wolves. A grace. Oh. Oh, cool. That's nice. Come on. You don't see me, bro? All right. Mm, my next level up is at 1882. Just gotta keep that number in mind. Oh! You're a bit of a jumper! Unfortunately, we're still early enough in the game where I can kill things with my shield. Wait, what's, what was that? Is, that? is that a talk to Mel in a moment? It is a talk to Mel in a moment. Melina is so talkative if you actually have this little helper thingy. Sounds rough. To 
kill a man's purpose Everyone. is to kill his reason for living. Oh no, that was like if to take a man's purpose away is to take is to take is to kill a man, right? Something like that. Somebody takes your head, you're not alive. Sitting sideways, caught up in the days. Sitting sideways, caught up in the days. Oh, Vari's been telling everybody to go this way. I'm here to kill that dude. One of those things is a lot scarier than the other. I'm gonna keep it real with you. Honestly, it goes arms, then legs, then definitely head. Yes, I can. Little Red Riding Hood. There you go. I just had to add Sitting Sideways, that Paul Wall song, to my playlist. <laughs> oh, it's already in my playlist. Disregard. Apparently, I just never heard it. Random Number Generator is not in Paul Wall's favor. On Spotify, at least. Alright, so from here, we need to go get no skill because we cannot live this way. Alright, so you want to head kind of sort of northeast, but you kind of. Eh, it's easier to do it than to explain it. Um, while I'm heading this way, I do want to look out for any graveyards that I can steal from. I mean, that I can uh explore uh, and pay respects at. Time's it. It should be morning. Hopefully, it's morning. Late day. It's getting kind of late for this. Let's actually switch time to morning. The reason I'm going to switch time to morning is because I'm not ready to fight the bell bearing hunter at all. Like, I literally have no type of health. Or upgraded weapon. Not seen you before. Name's Bernard. Let me ask you something. Are you here in the lands? Does your faith in the guidance of grace hold firm? Despite the collapse of the Golden Order. <laughs> I should say yes. Wait, I'm coach meaning Kiere. I'm falling. Honest to a fault, I see. <laughs> Such thoughts won't behoove you as a tarnished. But there's nothing wrong with that. Any interest in bearing the torch of my battle arts? All I know is the sword. Picked up a fair few tricks in my time too. While you were chasing maidens, I studied the blade. I studied the axe. I studied the sword. Where is it? No skill. Thank you. I'll take that. That's all I need. There's a myriad of battle arts in these lands that I've yet to discover. Mementos of all the warriors who raised their arms in battle. Lost and died. A fine tale, all told of true chivalric romance. That's how I fell in love with the sword. I studied the blade. I studied the blade. The death itself. Hmm. Reminds me, I need to pick up the iron wet blade when I get to Stormvale. I did not write that down. Hmm.
All right, we'll leave. Until we meet again. Lame. You a lame ass boy. All right. Uh, I guess we can go up and get the uh, fight this guy. See how hard he is. Pause. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I actually have a halfway decent horseback weapon this time. Okay, we'll stay right here. Let him invade. I don't know where he's invading from though. I think he's going to invade from up there. Up there, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll just parry him. Okay, that was a fail. So slow. Oh wait, that was... I, I was asking for it there. Alright. He's... I keep doing that, he's just gonna jump. Can I get one parry? Guys, I'm, I'm bad at this game. I'm bad at PvP. And invasions are just PvP for dummies, so I'm still bad at that. Don't give me a tooltip for death, guys. Don't give me a tooltip for death. <laughs> that just hurts my feelings even more. So, we just saw you died. Uh, are you going to be okay? It looked like you took it really hard. You didn't even hit the opponent once. Are, are you, um... This would when, be when Starfire and Teen Titan says, Are you the ass? <laughs> are you the ass? <laughs> You gotta, you gotta look up there at the face with the I'm not ass face, like, bro. <laughs> Alright, bring that ass here, boy. Bring that ass here, boy. Yeah, who's daddy now? Oh, 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 I'm not ready. Okay, 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 okay. Chill, let's heal a bit. Alright, so what I need to do is be ready to... Okay, I need to heal a bit. Why am I so terrible? Can I just like for once? And it was great the first time. The first time was was a straight up parry. But then I got the right pass and I realized that uh Yeah. Oh no. My souls are all the way over there. No. <laughs> I'm bringing my souls back somewhere sane. Um. Yeah? 
I guess if I see him going for that, I could backstab him. Yeah. Never mind all that. What? I have an idea. It's not something that dumb. Yeah, there we go. We gotta just base him, because he's got a kind of short range. If I can hit the freaking step button fast enough. Alright, this is teaching me a lot. Because every time I hit backs up, I don't get anything out of it. Yeah. I'm hitting, I'm hitting backs up and I'm not getting anything. It's really annoying. Um, Alright, here's what I need you to do. I need you to go somewhere else. There you go. Oh, that's perfect. It's perfect. See, square off would actually work really well here. Um, I don't think flail is really good for PvP. How'd I jump? <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> uh, let's go. Blue. I might swap weapons back for a second. Because I think this is going to be harder than it needs to be if I don't use Square Off. Because I don't have a halfway decent Ash of War for this. And the Broadsword's a way better weapon. Alright, back the Broadsword. Back the ballin', back the ballin', back the ballin'. I don't want to go too far to the right. I don't even know what's about to happen to him. He's lucky he got that all faster. One. Oh, how somehow I missed that.
Yeah, but he already got all his poise back. That is the difference between a good weapon and a bad weapon. <laughs> Keeping it real. <laughs> so simple. Get a broadsword. That's all it comes down to. That's really all it comes down to. Get a broadsword. Get you one. Alright. But I will go back to what I was using before. Um, well. I mean, this weapon has uses too. Like, it's really good on horseback. Like, just figure out what side the enemy's gonna be on and ride around on that side. You got it. we beat Bernal. What else do we want? Meet Alexander? Alright, so he's down here somewhere. Some I don't think the uh and he might be, but I don't think he's up here. Oh, didn't know those guys were up there. Oh no, he is up here. Okay. So Golden Valdic guy is up here. Well, here's another. Here's one for him, for uh, these guys to shine at. <laughs> Boy! There. Now the flail got some, got to show off as well. The flail's not good at PvP, but it, it does have a very special place in horseback combat. Alright, so... Golden Valves is literally in the same spot as, what you call it, as uh, Henricus. I knew it was up here somewhere, I just didn't know it was that early. Mm. Now if I go Noff... a cliff face that should eventually lead downward to um, death touch catacombs so right here Actually, that was dumb. I'll kill this guy real quick for his souls, but I need to go backwards. No, to make my life a ton easier. I could have done this a long time ago. I literally could have done this before I fought Henry Kiss the first time. Now I'm just dumb. 
Now I can actually use my Ash of War. What's the scaling on this? 27. Oh, well. a difference. So, having blunt weapons is nice for catacombs. It's literally everything you want to fight. It takes extra blunt damage in the catacombs. Oh, wow. What is that heavy attack? I gotta look at that heavy attack again. So, okay. But you can charge it. For mad law. <laughs> Alright, so you don't just charge that heavy unless you really believe in it. Or you just partially charge it. I can see it being a good, uh like type of delayed attack That doesn't help. No! Sometimes you just say no to chess. I'll use a heal there. Instead of a uh, flask. I guess that is a little bit more efficient. You can just uh, use your heal instead of a flask there. Alright. 
Where is it? Oh, there you come. They are so lucky I don't have a full ranged attack yet. That is super annoying. Yeah, honestly, if you want to play this game on easy mode to start, let's pick Confessor. This is good. It's really good. Feels really, really good. By the way, all these roots, these death roots, they have eyes in them. You can't really, you can't see them there. Kind of hard to see without me holding a torch up to it. Okay, I think this will be fine, especially after I summon my, my doggies. Where my dog's at? Right here, dog. Where my dog's at? Oh wow, I didn't think he had a move after the grab, or she rather. Yeah, these guys really don't like getting ganked. That's the most obvious thing about them. During my first playthrough, I uh, mobbed one, the one in Sage's Cave with a, um, with my. Uh, Break shield soldiers, the ones you get from Nakron. And um, yeah, she did not enjoy that. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you what, she was not having a good time there. I need six of them bad boys to get uh, Sonogarank, which will be a part of this build later on. So I ended up, uh, I knew nothing, I knew very little about incantations in the Elden Ring prior to starting this build. I knew there were some that like Catch Flame and uh, Bestial Sling that were really good for PvP or PvE in, in case of Catch Flame, but I didn't really know where to go as far as quality of them goes. So I ended up watching uh, this other YouTuber, his name is Yui. He's a real YouTuber, uh, like he like really YouTubes. I just kind of do this for fun. Um, I ended up watching his uh, presentation on like how you ranked all the different uh, incantations. And that's how I kind of came up with the, uh, the nine incantations that I'm going to go for in this run. So there's only gonna be one bestial incantation 
that I really, really care about, and that's the Stone of Garank. Although Bestial Sling for a while will be very, very important to me. But it's not going to end up on the final build. Alright. So, uh, there should be a Grace down there. Grace. Give me my Grace. Actually, before I go get that Grace. Can you hear me? Alright, first of all, I gotta kill this guy. Or, or he's gonna make himself not a problem. Okay. Exalted flesh, not bad. Once again, I journey beyond these lands. Upon their southern edge is Redmain Castle, in which a festival of combat is being held. I'd heard whispers of such festivities before. Doesn't the notion seem to rest a matter? It's cool because he's heading in a completely di different direction than I am. I'm heading east. Redmain. I've heard there's to be a. Okay, cool. Is that enemy still down there? Yes, it is. I'm just gonna ride past it, though. You don't have time for toxic enemies. Um. Now, let's look at Ashes of War, Flail. I could have done this beforehand, but. Let's see, I lose 30. And I gain a crap ton in holy. And some scaling. The thing that throws me off is that my physic my total scaling is way lower. Way, way lower than my to me that means that my my uh my holy isn't high enough. That's all that means to me. How soon am I gonna need more stats? I'm need sixteen faith by the time I get to I'm need sixteen faith kinda soon. By the time I get to Weeping Peninsula. Hmm. But I can go without it for a little while. We'll try this. We'll try it. That's quality, right? Quality just... Yeah. Okay, hey, we'll try Golden Val. Because Golden Val also increases your damage. Here's the thing, I don't have to go... Actually, if I use this, I don't have to go with that. I could always go standard. Keep going to battle. Mm. Mm. Let's try this out. So my next actual item is the Assassin's Crimson Dagger, but I will try being this guy real fast. Not Assassin's Crimson Dagger. <laughs> the Flash of Lunar's physique. Okay. That was quick. Well, since we already got through this guy, we'll go ahead and get the uh, the Summon Water Village. Ooh, nice. I can upgrade my weapon one. We'll go ahead and get to the Summon Water Village. Uh, thingy. 
I always forget what it's called. armor is so interesting. I never really paid attention to it the first time I played the game, but that armor is really interesting. Anyway, we don't really have a choice except to go this way. I could... I could fight this guy right now, but I'm gonna wait until I get Dash War for Sacred Blade. Um, let's drop down and get the Flask of Wonders for Zeke's first. Get it, we gotta find a staircase down. There it goes. Um, so I think I wanna go this way. Yeah, that's just a waterfall, that's not a spirit spring. Ooh, a grave to rob, I mean, to, uh, pay respects at. That's what we do at graves, we pay respects. Ooh, five. Five's pretty good for this early in the game. So we're coming up on the on two hour mark in like the next seven minutes. I don't foresee myself uh, fighting anything. Well, I might end up fighting that, that guy real quick. Ooh, I fucked up. But I got away with the dome. Flask, flask, and uh, and what's this? Sacred tear for me. I'll take it. Now I just gotta figure out where to get this uh, this ash of war for uh for sacred for sacred blade. Cause I don't. Remember. North of, it's next to the Spirit Spring. Okay. Yeah. Spoken echoes linger here. Words of Queen Marika, who vanished long ago, if you wish. I will share them with you. Very well. In Marika's own words, my lord and thy warriors, I divest each of thee of thy grace. With thine eyes dimmed, ye will be driven from the lands between. Ye will wage war in a land afar, where ye will live and die. Well, that might serve you in lieu of a maiden's guidance. Mm. Put your hands on me, baby. To 
Absolutely. Oh, I need a little bit more in a moment. You're gonna have you're gonna have to do that a little bit longer for me. Um, do I go straight for... How soon do I need 16 strength? I don't think I need 16 strength for a good long time. I need it for a wing scythe. I guess the real question that I'm asking myself is... How long can I afford... Can I mentally afford to be at 10 vigor? Not for very long, honestly. I need to up my vigor a bit. Maybe for the sake of sanity, I'll get vigor up to like 15 and then I'll go for the other stats. Hmm. Okay. It's starting to get late at night here. Hmm. Meet Alexander. Assassin's Crimson Dagger. Fast of Wonder's Physique. Ash War for Sacred Blade. Alright, let's go find Sacred Blade. It should be down here somewhere, actually. Need that. Look, I know what I'm doing, game. I'm good at this. Ah, I hate when you think it's something nice and it's just a regular mushroom. Ooh, Mikola. So, by the way, guys, if you didn't already know this, I am the biggest Mikola fan on the planet, besides, I guess, Mogan Millennia. So, anything that is even referencing Mikola automatically gets picked up if I see it. Doesn't matter if it's useful for my build or not. Chances are it's going to be useful just because Mikola has really good stuff, but it, it really doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what it is. All that matters is that it was a part of Mikala. A part of Mikala. And I did not attune this. Because I did not think about it. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Um I should put that on my on my wheel, but Yeah, let's put that on my wheel. I need to fix my physique actually. Because the physique doesn't come with it automatically attached. So, there we go. Um, did I just go for Golden Vow here? I think I do, right? I don't think Sacred Blade... Sacred Blade doesn't kill skeletons dead. So I do just go for Golden Vow here. Where'd he go? Yikes. Okay. I don't know if I was just fighting off a little bit more than I could chew there. Oh. 
kind of feels like I bit off a little bit more than I could chew there. Oh, wow. The fact that he's being aggressive means that he really knows I'm trash. My son, I will smash you up. You trying to drift on me? Can I? There we go. Full damage on that. Is my B button broke? Like seriously, it feels like my B button is broke. All right, one more. One more. You ain't gonna get away. What's good? What's good with y'all? Yo, if you were right there, why did you not help me? No, D, I'm looking at you funny now. Why did you not help me? I don't even care that Fia kills you later. Oh, but by the way, you can see the eye of the thing now. See that eye above, uh, I'll just put my head next to it. There it is. It's right above my head. Yeah, that's Godwin's eyes all over the freaking continents. Including the one in the sky. It's ridiculous. Another fool who won't listen to reason, eh? But with a prowess for weeding death root. Hmm. How would you like to earn the strength of beasts? If you're inclined to haunt more of those who live in death and weed their death root, then I'll introduce you to Garank, the beast clergyman. I have a matter of my own to attend to, and the beast himself wishes for someone to take my place. What say you? Very well. Show me your map. I've marked the location for you, of a hidden gateway. It will lead you to Garank, the beast clergyman. Okay. And... I will end this as soon as I get, um, Catch Flame. As soon as I buy Catch Flame. This episode, this first episode will be over. There's quite a few more things we need to do. Um. Before we finish up Limgrave proper. But we are well on our way, it seems like. Mm. Yeah. It seems we're pretty well on our way. I'll level up again. Behind me is a very late game boss, and in front of me is a friend, who happens to also be an end game boss, but he's also a friend. Hmm. Wow, these gigantic beasts. 
I don't really pay attention to the molding. I think it would be scary to fight. I think about it. Are those dogs? <gasps> They're probably the same species as him. Good puppy. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? You're a good boy. You're the fastest boy. You bring me gifty? You bring me a gift? Such a good boy. Alright. Actually, that brings my camp power down. <laughs> but it's fine because um, we're going to a tomb bestial sling anyway. Oh, crap. Wait, nope, I have more. I have more runes. Why are you trying to attack Melina? I've been... Yo, Melina, you got ops? You need me to handle that for you? I got you, girl. Yeah, nah, don't even let them talk to you like that. Yo, somebody put their fucking hands on you, I'ma fuck them up. Let them know that. Yeah, I got something long and arduous for you. Real long and arduous. Yeah, I got something measured out for you. Nah, you ain't gonna pretend nothing. Nah, I got something you can offer me. Damn, girl, you at the round table. How many of us you want? You always playing these games with me. <sighs> you already know you could do that. Shoot. Alright, here we go. About to catch flame. Yes, sir. Round table hold. In a little over two hours. Well, actually, I don't know how long it took me to create a character. It might not have been two hours. All right, so here's D. Hi, D. You can't teach me anything. Actually, what kind of incantations do you sell? Then you rock death and orders wait. Okay, so you so you sell. He sells like Mikola stuff, which makes sense because he has like the Mikola armor, but he serves the beasts. So are, are the beasts and Mikola aligned? I'm kind of confused there. Yeah, I'll see your trash. Yeah, you are some you are some trash, yeah, I'll some keep it real with you. You are the weakest link around here. Alright. So I have 200 runes roughly. About 300 runes roughly. Oh, I see you've just arrived. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm a new kid on the block. I'm Corin, a man of the cloth. The cloth. Yo, tell me something, bro. Is Melina ever gonna give up the pussy? Like, is she ever gonna get that up? If she, if she ain't gonna get that up, I don't really wanna deal with her. Might. Might. Yes, I see that. News. You look. Why are you blind? You are something of a rare Maybe if you took the blindfold off, my guy, you would see something. To of the two yes, I, I do care to. I care to learn that one. That's the only reason. That's all I came for. May the golden order shine through. Shut up. 
get in. I cannot wait to kill you. This is a rare occasion. I can't remember the last time a new tarnished made their way to the round table. Yeah, put some respect on me. As your senior. <laughs> Old man. It is <laughs> safe here. You may let down your guard. Uh, I know you're going to try to assassinate me later, but it's all good. Want some advice? Eat a tic tac. Yeah. Bert. I'm gonna kick my feet up on your couch, old man, and on your books. Get into all knowing. Shut up. Yeah, at my leisure, I will. After I tune these spells. All right, cool. So we can get rid of uh, this this weakness for uh, this strength. That's what we're gonna do. Huh. Now we got some real spells on. So Bichel Slain, Catch Flame are gonna be the go-to's for a little while. I think I have the stats for both of them. Yeah, it didn't tell me I didn't. I don't. So I have the stats for both of them. Bichel Slain is gonna be really great for breaking stuff. Stuff's poise. Um, and with that accomplished, let's see what my map looks like. Hmm. I need to get this scarab. So the scarab is like across there and then over here somewhere. And then you have to come back down here somewhere. So. Hmm. Honestly, I could just do meeting Bach and get his tools. I could always get the incantation scarab later. Now I go get it now. It's fine. All right. So next time we'll start off. We'll be doing Mistwood. Uh, we'll be doing Chemist Quest, Blood's Quest, Meeting Cell, and uh, killing a Gill. Going through the um. The tunnels, the Limgrave tunnels. Um, meeting Patches, beating him up, buying Margaret Shackle from him. Mm, meeting Bach, doing his mission, and then getting the incantation scout from the artist shack around here and then down here. So that's a lot. That's a, that's a going to be an action-packed episode. And then the episode afterwards should follow the same thing I did last time. It should just be. Uh, it's just me going down to uh, Weeping Peninsula, knocking out a few things down there. And then the episode after that, unless I'm making really good time, it'll be the episode after that will be Stormvale Castle. And this time I have to actually have a pretty decent good amount of stuff to actually do in Stormvale. Um, I will be going for the Iron Wet Blade. I will be going for Crucible uh, Horns. Um, what else? Warhawk's Town, I'll need to do some farming from that. Um, with any extra time I have, I'll end up trying to farm for Noble Slender Sword, but I might end up letting that wait until the end of the game, just depends. Mm. Yeah. Well, that's it. Oh, I didn't. Actually, while I'm at my round table, old, I need to talk to Fia. She's here too. <laughs> what it do, baby? Great champion called by grace. I am Fia. Circumstances have compelled my stay at the round table hold. Great mm -hmm. champion, would you allow me to hold you? But briefly, perhaps you might. I mean. Mella's been kind of stingy with it lately. I've been trying to holler at her forever. She ain't trying to give me none. I'll give you mad warmth. Baldekin's blessing. I mean, you, you nasty? Oh, so this is like a ritual for you. I mean, I'll let you hold me, but you kind of fast. You ain't gonna give me something that's going to like... Yeah, kind of STD that takes away five percent of my uh 
five percent of my health for the rest of the playthrough, do you? Are you? And I always forget to use that body chin's blessing. <laughs> so I stay in every single playthrough. I have negative five percent health. What you felt light up inside you was a Baldekin's blessing. Kind of itches. It kind of burns, honestly. It's kind of sticky. Feels weird down there now. What's Oh, girl. Girl, you burnt me? Melina says she walks alongside fire, but you got the fire in you. You don't need no more extra warmth. You you burning people out here. Be a deathbed companion. For trying, to, trying to take me to the deathbed. Alright, let's see what they posted on the messages. Do it. <laughs> don't do it. It hurts. It hurts when I pee now. <laughs> lovable sort of head. She's not lovable at all. Round two. Yes, I haven't got to the doctor yet. I need to take some antibiotics for what you. Fine. I mean, if if you're already infected, I might as well do it again, bro. Might as well do it again. You already know you got it. You might as well. If you got it, and I got it. You might as well, bro. <laughs> now we stuck together. Lively vigor. I lay with the remains of an exalted noble to grant him another chance at life. To do so is the purpose of my being. But before I could bear the noble into new life, I was awakened by the guidance of grace and chased from my birthplace. Pray, be kind. Despite all that, I still wish to be a deathbed companion. So please, let me hold you like this. I got it. Use for the streets. They chased you out the neighborhood. And now you just, you just trying to get do what you know. I understand it. You just trying to do what you know. You know what? I ain't even mad at the hustle no more. Could this be a lover? You know what? You gave me something nasty. You gave me something disgusting. You, you a little too fast and easy, but I can fuck with you. I, what I need you to do is start taking these pills with me, yo. Though I need you to start taking these pills with me, cause uh, yeah, you. We can't be walking around infected and stuff. You know that's nasty. Now that ain't right. All right, I think that's everything I care about here. Oh, this is already open. Last time it wasn't already open. Oh, you managed to move over here already. Weren't you just outside? <laughs> I can't wait to kill you. I'm just, I'm sorry guys, if this is your first time watching a game, I am just spoiling everything. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I'm just, yeah, I can't wait to kill this guy. <laughs> okay, spoiler alert for people who've never actually watched a playthrough of this game or looked at the lore. Everybody dies. All of them. Just, everybody you see me talk to, they're going to die. Just, just, that's just part of the lore. There's like two people who survived this entire playthrough. And they're pretty much doomed. So... Just G Wiz knowledge. Nobody survives this playthrough. <laughs> Let me make it pretty simple for you. All right, so that covers everything I wanted to do for this first part of this run. I appreciate you guys sticking around. I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you guys keep coming back to see the rest of this content. I'm gonna keep pumping it out. And as always, peace and chicken grease. Deuces, I have been me.